Internet search giant Google has just unveiled the first smartphone of its own design since buying Motorola last year. Google says it goes further than front runners such as Apple's iPhone by staying one step ahead of the user. And it is made here in the United States. What do you think will make this phone a success? Well, I think a couple things. Uh, first of all, you've heard of the, the self-driving car. This really is the self-driving phone. Like I said, it listens to your voice and, and acts on your command, your voice command, as opposed to using your finger. Uh, another thing that's really interesting is people want to participate in building their products. They don't want to just take black and white anymore. If you think about fashion, everybody doesn't walk around in black and white clothes. Shoes, people want to customize them. This is the first phone that you can actually fully customize on our website. So this, this for example, is a phone, the first phone, made out of teak. So it's, a, it's actually made out of wood. And it feels really soft, great in your hand. Uh, but we have multiple color combinations, as you can see, different fits and finishes. And people get really excited about personalizing their phone. It, it truly is a fashion item. What about some privacy concerns with that, that anyone can basically activate the phone? Well, the phone is actually trained to my voice. So when I, when I buy the phone, it asks me to train it. So I say the command a couple of times. It learns my voice as distinct from yours. So you shouldn't be able to actually activate my phone in that way. How much will you be spending on marketing? And is that comparable to maybe some of your competitors like Samsung or Apple? Well, you know, we're actually the challenger. We're the scrappy underdog that has to go up against some big incumbent behemoths. But we think we're going to be smarter and more creative in how we deploy those dollars, and that's how we'll be successful. Samsung essentially dominates the smartphone market. Is there really room for another smartphone? I mean, is it not already too saturated? Yeah, you know, there's a, a lot of people think, oh, there's no more innovation left in, in mobile devices, and that, we just completely don't believe that. If you think about the history of technology, uh, there's, there's always been innovation that delights consumers. Again, enabling consumers to actually make their own device, that's a big innovation, and that creates a lot of value for the consumer. So we think that will excite people. Sure, there's innovation, but then there's also a little bit of fatigue. My phone can make phone calls. I can search the Internet. I'm not going to make the switch to another phone. I think that that's, uh, that's just not true. Lots of people are looking for the next thing. They're looking for something a little different than what's been delivered over the last couple of years. Uh, they, they, they wanted something that expresses their individuality in a different way that's just not possible with today, today's devices. And when we talk to people, they're really excited about the phone. If you go on Twitter or you go on Facebook, you'll see literally tens of thousands of people waiting for this to come out. But the question always is for the phone maker. I mean, is it, is it profitable for a phone maker? Well, this phone is absolutely going to be profitable. And uh, as a business, uh, our intent is to get to a point where we're uh, sustaining profitable business as well. Obviously, you want this phone to be a success, but is there any concern that it may be too successful, that Google will actually start taking customers away from other Android phone makers? Well, I, I, mean, I think that would be an interesting problem. Uh, right now, we're, we're focused on getting the product into the market and communicating its value to, to the consumer. Um, again, there's plenty of space. Remember, there are something like 3 billion phones out there in the world only about 1.3 billion are smartphones. So you still have billions of people who are going to move from a feature phone to a smartphone in the next couple of years. And we think we're going to be able to build the products that, that enable them to do so.